and more than 300. 000 audiences during six shows of ERA's tour at Singapore National Stadium, fans in Singapore were very sad to say goodbye to the singer during her last performance, some fans could not hold back their tears as they saw the singer leave the Singapore Stadium, many fans followed Taylor Swift's motorcade to the airport to say goodbye to her. Taylor expressed her gratitude to fans in Singapore for continuously attending Taylor Swift's six nights of performances at Singapore National Stadium. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift had beautiful memories in Singapore. They both had relaxing moments at Coma Singapore restaurant, that moment reminds people of their first date in America. Now they have to say goodbye to this land and its beloved people to start a new journey for a tour around the world. Travis Kelsey, who was constantly present to support Taylor Swift's Beerus tour, also shared after his trip to Singapore that it was an unforgettable experience in his journey to support his girlfriend and everyone here very friendly, most especially, I really like the way people here say, thank you, when they join hands and bow their heads. I've never done that before, he shared shyly. Taylor Swift changed the lyrics in one of her songs, once again, as a shout-out to boyfriend Travis Kelsey, in the crowd at her era's tour performance in Singapore. Swift was singing her hit song Karma when she changed one of the lyrics to, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, coming straight home to me. One fan captured a video of Kelsey standing right below the stage while he heard his girlfriend's shout-out. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end, 34, was swaying back and forth, but after Swift, also 34, sang the lyrics, he raised both arms in the air and smiled while dancing in excitement. Swift has previously sung the phrase twice before, the first when Kelsey visited her in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in November and the second in Sydney when Kelsey was again in the audience. Kelsey touched down in Singapore with a few close pals on Thursday before heading out to see Swift perform the next evening. On Friday night, Kelsey was seen arriving to a VIP box at the National Stadium and later singing and dancing along to his girlfriend's three-hour concert. After Swift wrapped up another successful show, fans captured her running off the stage and into Kelsey's arms to share a sweet kiss and tight embrace before leaving the stadium together. The Grammy winner previously packed on the PDA with Kelsey in a similar way after the two other concerts he attended, as well. Swift has one more show in Singapore on Saturday before she has two months off and resumes her tour in Paris in May. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift didn't leave a blank space in terms of how they feel about each other as they shared a sweet kiss at the end of her era's tour show at National Stadium in Singapore on March 8. As seen in a video shared on social media, the singer walked over to the Kansas City Chiefs player, who was standing aside from the stage cheering her on after the concert and gave him a smooch as they wrapped their arms around each other. And when it was time for Travis to watch the Night 5 performance with the rest of the crowd earlier in the evening, he was ready for it. In fact, he even brought along some of his pals to watch Taylor rock the stage as pics of the group shared to social media showed them dancing along. Ultimately, it felt like the perfect night for the tight end to go to the Grammy winner's most recent Singapore show. After all, he wasn't able to attend the first few because he was by his brother Jason Kelsey's side as the Philadelphia Eagles Center announced his retirement from the NFL. But make no mistake, Travis' support of Taylor is nothing new. In fact, he's been there for several of her era's tour stops, including her recent one in Australia. And there's no question that Taylor has been showing Travis encouragement right back, such as by attending many of his games this past season. They've also given glimpses into their love story with their public displays of affection, including post-concert kisses and their on-field embrace after the Chiefs' Super Bowl win last month. When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care, Taylor told Time in her December Person of the Year cover story. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's love story began in July 2023, when the Singers Eras Tour made a stop at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. 
As a huge Swifty, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end caught the show with hopes of giving Taylor a friendship bracelet with his number on it. However, he failed to complete the pass due to her pre-show rituals. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, Travis shared on the July 26th episode of his New Heights podcast. So, I was a little butthurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. After publicly recounting his fumble, a move Taylor would later describe as, metal as hell, Travis decided to shoot his shot and invite the Grammy winner to watch the Chiefs play at Arrowhead Stadium. I threw it out there, I threw the ball in her court, he shared on the Pat McAfee show. I told her, you know, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead, you might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit. So, we'll see what happens in the near future. Travis was rocking a mustache, which he debuted in August during training camp, when he was first introduced to Taylor. As he later noted of the era, that Statch and the 87 jersey was pretty iconic there for a little bit, and I had it when I met Taylor for the first time. Accepting Travis' invite, Taylor joined the athlete's mom Donna Kelsey at Arrowhead Stadium to watch him and the Chiefs take on the Chicago Bears. After the game, Taylor and Travis were seen packing PDA at a local bar. Though folklore had it that it was the couple's first in-person meeting, the Karma singer later clarified the two had spent a significant amount of time getting to know each other beforehand. As Taylor noted, we would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. The 34-year-old singer was spotted arriving at Coma Restaurant with the NFL player on Friday night after her recent era's tour show in the country. She was joined by her band members and backup singers as they dined in the restaurant, making it more a friend's night out than a romantic one. The Grammy winner could be seen wearing a printed, knee-length wrap-over dress paired with heels. Meanwhile, Kelsey decked out in a white t-shirt and gray pants, as an indication that the relationship was heating up, Taylor brought her squad, including friends Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Sophie Turner, Hugh Jackman. Sabrina Carpenter and Anthony Porowski, to watch the Chiefs play against the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Another sign that Travis could be the one? Taylor started bonding with Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Travis BFF and teammate Patrick Mahomes, in and outside of NFL games. The couple took their romance to TV, making a surprise appearance on the October 14 episode of Saturday Night Live. Their Big Apple takeover also included the afterparty for the NBC sketch show and a date night at the Waverly Inn.